the world of Pokemon is absolutely filled with so many beautiful and gorgeous scenic places that you could live. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of those places that I would like to live inside of the Pokemon world if I lived in each region from the mainline games. Well, all of the mainline games, but also including Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness, because as personal favorites of mine, I just needed to include them in this video. If you're excited to talk about some places in the Pokemon world today, make sure to go down below, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel to see more content of mine. I'm talking about a lot of Pokemon stuff recently because I'm a giant Pokemon nerd, so if that sounds like fun to you, come along for the ride. And definitely make sure to subscribe because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Starting off with Generation 1, the Kanto region, which was a lot of people's first experience of the wonderful world of Pokemon. Kanto has so many places that I feel like would be really, really great to live. A lot of scenic sites, a lot of fun places, but I think for me personally, with my aesthetic, my vibe, my kind of thing that I would enjoy, I think Cerulean City absolutely fits all of those things. Now the reason I would pick Cerulean City is because of all of the cozy vibes. I love that it's surrounded by water. I think that it'd be really great for fishing. I think that there is something for everybody in Cerulean. You can get yourself a bike. You could go swimming in Misty's gym as well as the ponds and lakes around it. In Cerulean City there's also plenty of opportunity for adventure with there being a couple caves and routes nearby to find nearby Pokemon to do some Pokemon hunting. Plus it's also not too far for some other places in the Kanto region so don't feel like you're too out of the way from everything. I honestly also might be a little bit biased because I do love Misty and I would love to be friends with her so much. Girl, honestly, let's just paint each other's nails and hop in the pool. I would love that so, so much. And of course, Psyduck can come too. Moving right on to Generation 2 in the Johto region. Another beautiful, beautiful region. I love the Johto region. Honestly, a personal favorite of mine. There are so many nice places that you could live. I mean, there's Ecruteak with the gorgeous sights and the Japanese inspiration. If you like more of the hustle and bustle of living in a city, maybe Goldenrod City is something for you. But for me, I have something a little different in mind. You may notice a trend for me with a lot of my choices in today's video, but I'm going to pick Olivine City. The reason I say you might notice some similarities is I would choose to live in Olivine City because of the lighthouse being a great attraction, but also it being so close to the ocean. I personally am a huge fan of living near some type of water, whether it's lakes, ponds, rivers, oceans. I just think that it is so peaceful. I love walks along the beach, and I just think that living in Olivine City, I think that would be really, really nice. And also, having the lighthouse as a attraction would bring a lot of tourists. I can definitely see myself being one of those Pokemon trainers that hangs out inside of the Olivine Lighthouse, just trying to battle anybody who's trying to go up along the way. Plus, I also would love to be really good friends with Jasmine. And plus, Amphi it's just so cute. You're telling me you wouldn't want to hang out at the top of the lighthouse with Amphi all day either? We're also really, really close to the place where you can get Moo Moo milk, and I think that that would be great, especially for all the baking that I do. Moving right on along to the Hoenn region, Generation 3, another place where there is plenty of opportunity, and judging on my last two choices in the regions, I'm sure you can make an educated guess on where I'm going to pick. For those of you who said Pacifilog Town, you would be incorrect, because I actually have quite an immense fear of living on the ocean. I think that that would be a little terrifying and a little bit scary, especially when there's creatures like Kyogre just running around. Or swimming around? Swimming around. But yeah, I'm, I'm really good without having a Kyogre underneath my home. I, I'm, I'm fine. But to keep along with the trend of me liking to live near water, I would definitely say Slateport City would have to be my next best opportunity. I think in Slateport there are so many great things about it. You have the museum, you have a contest hall, you have the marketplace, you have the beach with the soda pop house. There is no shortage of fun activities to do inside of Slateport City, and also right above Slateport you have the cycling road. I mean, come on, there's just so much opportunity for fun there. If I lived in Slateport City, I either would want to work at the Oceanic Museum, or or I would want to be a contest coordinator at the contest hall. Next up is Generation 4 in the Sinnoh region, which is a very, very different region from the ones that we have talked about so far, both in my choice and the layout of the actual region. Sinnoh region introduced a lot of different types of regions and areas that we may not have experienced in the other three generations of the game. One of these different types of regions being the place that I would want to live in the Sinnoh region, with that being Snowpoint City. Now look, I know some of y'all are gonna think that I'm insane. Why 
why would Dominic want to live in the cold? I thought that he liked the water and the beach and the good vibes and the warmness, but why would he pick to live in Snow Point? Are you insane? Baby, call me insane because it is cold outside in Snow Point City and I love every second of it. You probably wouldn't be able to tell this about me, but winter is actually my favorite season. I love the holidays and snowfall and it just is probably one of the times where I'm the happiest throughout the entire year. So having the opportunity to live somewhere like Snow Point City where it would be snowy all the time and also you would have a really fun gym where you could just go and skate around. I mean, that sounds really fun. Also with Snow Point Temple being there, a really great historic site, I think that that would also be a really fun thing to just have around in the town that you can go and explore. I also would love the idea of going into the snowy forest and maybe doing some snowboarding and skiing. I think that that sounds like a really, really fun place to live. I don't know. If you don't love the cold, then maybe it's not for you. But hey, I, I enjoy the cold. I enjoy the snow. So it might be a little bit of a different choice than what you were probably expecting based on my first three generations of choices. But hey, I love Snow Point City. Moving on to my personal favorite generation in Generation 5 with the Unova region. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I had so many places in the Unova region that I love and I was going back and forth and back and forth and I had no idea where I wanted to live just because there are so many nice places. I think I finally settled on a choice with that choice being Nimbasa City. Now, do I even really need to tell you why I would want to live in Nimbasa? I just feel like Nimbasa has a little bit of everything. I mean, Nimbasa City has the amusement park with the Ferris wheel, it has the contest hall. Nimbasa City really feels like a central hub of the region, kind of like a little beating heart aside from Castelia. There's just so much going on and so much to do. I mean, you have the Ferris wheel, you have the musicals, you have the battle subway, there's just no shortage of things to do. And also, I could definitely use a ride on one of the roller coasters in Elise's gym. But if she happened to have it set up for the models, I could also walk a little runway, you know, I, I've walked a runway from time to time. That's actually no lie. I did used to be a model. Fun fact, we're talking about some fun facts. I like winter and I used to be a model a long time ago, so I am no stranger to a runway. Look, that was a long time ago. I know you're probably looking at my fashion sense and you're like, what? You a model? Yes, girl. It's true. It, it, it was very true once upon a time. Don't make me pull out my portfolio. Aside from all the fun activities inside of Nimbasa, I feel like it being a central hub and there are a lot of branching paths and routes away from it that have a lot of different things that you could experience. There's the desert beneath you, there's the woods to the right, there's the bridge to the left. I mean, there is just so much space and opportunity in Nimbasa City. There's so much to do, and I feel like that's one of the greatest things about it. Also, the apartment buildings look very, very comfortable and affordable, I would hope. Well, at least more affordable than New York City, which in the Unova region is very much a real thing, and Castelia is absolutely why I'm not living there. And yes, I know that I currently live in New York City, so I sound like a giant hypocrite, but you know, I, I, I wouldn't. This is the Pokemon world, okay? It's different. It's different in the Pokemon world. Moving along to Generation 6, in the Kalos region, there were quite a few choices that I thought about for this region as well. I mean, Lumio City being as gorgeous and beautiful and spacious as it is, I definitely did think about that, but I thought that there was one choice that I liked just a little bit more. I hate that it's gonna be so similar to another choice that I've already made, but hey, I did three cities in a row that were all based around water, so honestly, I can't blame my choices too much here. I just like what I like. The Kalos region, I would personally choose to live in Snowbell City. In Snowbell, I would want to live there for all the same reasons that I listed off in Snow Point, aside from the fact that there is a little bit of a difference here and that there is the winding woods, which I feel like would be very fun to explore, you know, if I can actually find my way around there. But also finding Pokemon there I think would be really fun as well. I also did heavily consider, now that I'm thinking about it, Anastar City. I think that that also would be a really nice place to live. So I'm gonna I'm gonna debate between those two right there, but I think I'm gonna settle on Snowbell. But just know that Anastar and Lumios were very, very, very close. I enjoyed those a lot. Also very excited to see what Lumio City looks like in Pokemon Legends ZA. So if you've made it to this point in the video, let me know down in the comment section below by letting me know if you are excited for Pokemon Legends ZA. Moving right on along to the Alola region, which honestly, y'all, looking objectively, the games may not be my favorite in the series, this generation may not be my favorite, but the region itself is stunning. Gorgiana, beautiful. Out of all those gorgeous places, I myself would personally choose to live in Mali City. Now, Mali is a place that is on Ula Ula. I mean, the Mali Garden reason in itself is quite literally the only thing I have to say to convince you to live there. It's so beautiful. I would love to just take a stroll through the Mali Garden. Aside from the Mali Garden, I also just love the architecture and everything inside the town looks just as beautiful as Mali Garden. I would love to have one of those cute little houses. I also just think that the nature 
on Ula Ula Island is really gorgeous and beautiful. Next up we have the Galar region in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And for this one, this was a no-brainer for me. I immediately knew I wanted to live and there were no second guesses, no doubts in my mind. I would choose Balan Leia. Now, I love fairy type Pokemon. If you don't know that about me, fairy type is my favorite type of Pokemon out there, and I'm not saying that that's for any reason in particular at all whatsoever. I just happen to enjoy a nice fairy type Pokemon. But Balan Leia is so pretty, and honestly, like the kind of witchy, dark, cozy vibes that you get in Balan Leia. I really enjoy it a lot. I mean, the glowing mushrooms, the shade of all the trees with it kind of being in the forest, all the little fairies running around. I just think that it would be really, really cute to live there. If I lived inside of Bal and Leia, I'd probably become a booktuber because honestly, I feel like that would fit the vibe entirely. Like, I would just have an entire wall of like cookbooks and just like lots of lots of bookshelves and hanging fairy lights. Like, I feel like that's the vibe of Bal and Leia and I'd want to fit right in. Just sounds super cozy. And also, I think that Opal's just would be one of the draws as well just because there's a theater inside there I don't know if they're hiring any actors but you know I would love to do a scene little Shakespeare. Now let's talk about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with the Paldea region. And the Paldea region also, yet again, has so many fantastic places. But for me, we're going back to my old habits, we're going back to my old ways, because where I would live inside of the Paldea region would absolutely 10 out of 10 have to be Porto Marinata. Not only is Porto Marinata gorgeous and right by the water, there's also the marketplace, which I feel like would be super fun. I feel like if I lived in Porto Marinata, I honestly Honestly, would just be walking the paths all day, I'd be swimming all day, I'd be at the marketplace. There's also a nice little battle area near the marketplace. Like, I just think that Porto Marinata is gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to live there if you love anything about the water? Also, just because this area is in Scarlet and Violet technically and doesn't have its own game, even though it is a separate region, I have to include Kitakami. Kitakami truly is just amazing and incredible, and it kind of just in my head, if I lived in Kitakami, would give me that fantasy that I've always thought of, of what if I lived in Japan? You know, in an impossible lifetime where I could actually move and live in Japan. I just don't ever think that that's something that I could actually do, but think Thinking of myself living in Kitakami, I mean going to the festivals, wearing the masks, exploring the beautiful scenery, I think that it would be really gorgeous and fun. And also, I would love to be friends with Ogre Pond. I would want to be just like Kieran. I can't blame Kieran for getting upset when our main character just stole Ogre Pond away after a lifetime of dreaming of being friends with the Ogre, and then we just snatch Ogre Pond away like it's no big deal. Hashtag Team Kieran, okay? Like, I love Kieran so much. Such a well-written Pokemon character, but we're, we're straying from the subject. Itakami is a stunning and beautiful place, and I love all of the Japanese inspiration, and I 1000% would live there, and it probably is in my top three of places that I've mentioned in this video. Now, we are not yet done with today's video, because remember I mentioned in the beginning we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite Pokemon games, that being Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, because I would be absolutely amiss not talking about this game in every opportunity and in every vein that I possibly could. I'm also mentioning this game as much as humanly possible in the hopes that one day the Pokemon Company will hear my thoughts, prayers, emails, phone calls, voicemails, text messages, carrier pigeons, rocks thrown through a window with a message written on them, that one day the Pokemon Company will understand my love for this game, and so many others' love for this game, and we will finally get a port, a remake, a remaster, I don't- I just need something. I just need something to give me hope. But I personally, inside of the Ori region, would absolutely live in Agate Village. Agate Village is just this, like, little hidden away area. The Ori region is just a lot of desert and dryness and oasis and there's a lot of barren going on in the Ori region. Definitely not one of the prettiest regions. But we need to talk about Agate Village for a second. Not only does it give the homey, cozy vibe that I definitely would go for and definitely enjoy in a Pokemon world, but it also is close to water. There's a bunch of waterfalls. You got the Relic Stone. It's just so pretty. I just remember as a kid playing this game and I would go into the homes in Agate Village and I would just pretend they were mine. Like, I, it sounds so stupid, but I am not making this up. I would just walk into the houses in Agate Village. I would just walk around and I'd be like, oh, this would be my kitchen. This would be my bedroom. Like, I was doing a full, like, MTV, this is my crib, like, inside Agate Village. I was all about it. And there you have it. There are all of the places in the current Pokemon world that I would like to live. But of course, in the future, 
future with more Pokemon games on the way and more regions to discover, there will always be more places that we could choose to live inside of the Pokemon world, and I cannot wait to see the gorgeous new cities and regions and towns that they come up with. Let me know if you would like to see me do a version of this video where it is all the spin-off games, talking about where I would like to live in the regions that are not considered the mainline games. I know that I heavily considered including the regions from Pokemon Ranger, so definitely know if you would like to see a video where I talk about where I'd like to live in Pokemon spin-off games as well. As always, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, and make sure to go down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel to have more fun, and if you are a Pokemon fan and you want to see more stuff like this of mine, I'm gonna have plenty, I'm talking about Pokemon a lot, I'm just really having fun talking about it recently. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching, I really, really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Ah!